Hi, this is Preetika Rao. I'm a model and actor from Mumbai, India. Today I have with me Dr. Rickson Pereira, who's MD in dermatology and also he specializes in hair, skin, laser, botox, fillers and body contouring. Today we're going to talk to him about a very very common problem that everybody seems to have which is dark circles. <music> Welcome, doctor, and thank you again for being with me on my show. Hi, Pritika. Thank you for having me. So, dark circles. India is a nation of dark circles. Okay, let me put it that way. And uh, uh, I mean, the causes are multiple. A lot of us are born with it, hmm. and uh, it just gets worse as we get older. I think the most common reason for dark circles are teenagers who don't sleep on time. They like they party. They you know they drink. They sleep at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and then they wake up, and then they want to have this, you know, fresh, glowing skin, which is not how possible. can you not possible? Absolutely. So, uh, is it like a lifestyle thing, also majorly? So, uh, let me put it this way: uh, if you are already born with dark circles, it will show. A lot of Indians we have this uh, uh, condition called as a pigmentary demarcation line. It will typically show as a patch. You know, like a, a wing pattern on the cheek, and it'll it, it'll sort of extend onto the eyelids, causing a dark circle, and it'll also extend onto the forehead. So this typically this pattern makes an appearance uh, sometimes in the teenage years also, or uh, very commonly we see it in the late twenties and early thirties. And as you get uh, older, it continues to intensify. Uh, there are other situations in which a dark circle will become worse. That is, like you rightly said lack of sleep, a bad lifestyle, smoking can worsen dark circles, uh, during pregnancy dark circles can worsen because of hormonal stimulation which makes the skin darker in certain areas. There is a condition called as acanthosis nigricans. So a bad diet in which there is a lot of junk food, lot of sugar, alcohol, all of this can cause an increase in a particular hormone called insulin. Mm. And that can worsen dark circles. Mm. If you have a thyroid deficiency, that can worsen your dark circles. If mm. your B12 is uh, low or your hemoglobin is low, it can cause a dark circle. Uh, if you recently recovered from an illness like you know COVID, viral fevers, uh, if you lost weight, so all of these uh, conditions can uh, worsen dark circles or cause dark circles. Mm. In some people, when they have eczemas, okay, very commonly if they have repeated eyelid allergies, you know, it's very common in certain weathers where people start to develop itchy eyes and they constantly rub those eyes mm -hmm. uh, itchy eyes and that can uh, you know cause dark circles okay so the causes of dark circles are multiple a lot of people find it very difficult to deal with uh, them right are dark circles also uh, like commonly seen with hollow under eyes yes so uh, we have a condition called as a tear trough now, uh, so that's very common. You see a groove on the inner eyelid and sometimes it can extend as a hollow right up to the outer uh, eyelid. Mm -hmm. And uh, so these are uh, due to the lack of fat in the under eye uh, skin because okay. uh, in some races where you can see that the cheek fullness extends onto the under eye, so there is no hollow. But in a lot of us Indians, uh, uh, the cheek uh, fat just stops at the cheek, it doesn't extend into the eyelid. Okay. And uh, that can give the appearance of a hollow under eye area. It's just lack of fat in the under eye uh, skin. Okay. So, uh, are dark circles uh, treatable? Because I am assuming that they yes. are treatable. Yes. So, we cannot erase a dark circle, especially if it's come from pigmentary demarcation lines. Like if you're born with it, you're born with it. You cannot erase it. But uh, certain treatments, certain lifestyle measures can improve the overall quality of your skin. Mm -hmm. and uh, you know uh, help the dark circles lighten so uh, this includes a good good lifestyle habits uh, you sleep well sleep on time mm -hmm. uh, you know cut out uh, junk food from your diet as much as po possible like mm -hmm. have a well rounded well balanced diet include mm -hmm. a lot of uh, fruits vegetables uh, your grains pulses mm -hmm. nuts mm -hmm. uh, eat good quality protein okay. so have a well rounded diet in which you include all the food groups uh -huh. uh, and that will improve your general health as well as your skin and hair and that reduces uh, dark circles okay. if there are any deficiencies uh, like hemoglobin b12 those can be treated mm -hmm. uh, you know see your doctor if you if you feel 
like you're fatigued and you know along with that if you have dark circles then it could suggest some deficiencies mm -hmm. so you can do blood tests and you know correct those deficiencies okay. um, uh, in case you have eczema prone skin then you know uh, avoid using very harsh cleansers on your eyelids uh, mm -hmm. moisturize it well sometimes mm -hmm. uh, if the eczema gets out of control mm -hmm. uh, you can have some prescription creams to help treat the eczema okay. and that will uh, and keep your skin moisturized and be gentle with your skin don't be aggressive don't rub your eyes mm -hmm. or don't use any harsh products mm -hmm. so all of these can minimize the uh, can help your eyelid skin heal and minimize dark circles okay. and as far as treatments are concerned there are good creams that can be used mm -hmm. there are peels which can be used for the uh, eyelids mm -hmm. um, there are lasers that can be used to treat the darkness on the under eye areas mm -hmm. and there is a procedure called as fillers especially if you have um, darkness combined with hollowness mm -hmm. So hollow under eyes can be treated with uh, a filler. A mm -hmm. filler is a is a gel which is injected on the under eye area. Mm -hmm. uh, a filler is made of something called as hyaluronic acid, mm -hmm. which is naturally present in our skin. Mm -hmm. So this is a modified version of that. Mm -hmm. And when you inject it on the under eye area, it your skin sort of accepts it mm -hmm. and produces collagen around it, mm -hmm. and that uh, reduces the uh, hollows on the under eye area. Mm -hmm. It also improves the uh, the quality of the eyelid skin. Mm -hmm. So uh, those are some of the things. Some some people have this uh, lower eyelid roll uh, on the uh, under eye area, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes you can do a little bit of uh, Botox there mm -hmm. to help uh, reduce that uh, roll. How long will it last? So fillers tend to last long. They uh, although the uh, it's mentioned on the label and studies have shown that it lasts only uh, for a year, but it mm -hmm. tends to last much longer. Mm -hmm. uh, it typically lasts for one and a half to two years. Mm -hmm. After which you can do a little bit of touch up, and then that result will last even longer. Mm -hmm. uh, peels, uh, the results are uh, short lived. Like when you do peels, you have to typically do them uh, twice in a month or once in a month, mm -hmm. and then you know maintenance treatments are required. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, your creams, uh, creams, and sunscreen. Okay, sunscreens are very important. Okay. Uh, uh, when you treat. When you apply sunscreen all over the face, mm. it's a very good idea to use a, a, a tinted product on the under eye because a concealer or a concealer, you know, mm. anything that is opaque will block out light. Okay. Uh, so it provides much, uh, as we know that any dark spot on the skin mm. uh, darkens with sun exposure. Okay. So you have to protect it against sunlight. So any dark patch on the skin, which even if it's the eyelids, mm -hmm. you have to protect it from the sun. Okay. And so you need to wear a product like a concealer or a tinted sunscreen, mm -hmm. uh, which will camouflage that spot and block out light more effectively. Are sunscreens safe to apply under the eye? Yes. So you can apply a tinted sunscreen on the under eye. They are safe. Mm -hmm. There are certain uh, sunscreen brands or ingredients which can cause a burning sensation in the eye. That's it is common. Mm -hmm. But there are uh, formulations available without that uh, agent. So okay. there are sunscreens which are compatible with uh, under eye usage. Okay. But I would recommend if you have sensitive under eye skin, then mm. something just moisturize and use a concealer right. that would uh, work um, as a sunscreen for your under eye area. Uh, so is icing under the eyes, is it safe? So icing under the eyes is, is safe. Mm. There's no uh, worries, but it, it may not have benefits. If you have like say uh, puffy eyes, mm. uh, then uh, any cold application will cause the blood vessels on the under eye to close down mm -hmm. and that can reduce puffiness. Mm -hmm. uh, but later on, uh, what can happen is those blood vessels can open up a little more than what they were and that may, uh, you know, uh, cause the puffiness to come back again. Okay. So icing uh, may have temporary benefits. Okay. Uh, if you want a reduction in puffiness that lasts long, you can use an under eye cream containing caffeine. And caffeine can give you much prolonged uh, uh, reduction in puffiness and it's very safe to use on the under eye area. Is it safe to use anti-aging creams under your eyes? Yes, so uh, the thing is a lot of anti-aging creams contain retinols, that's vitamin A or vitamin C, mm -hmm. niacinamide, uh, peptides, all of these uh, ingredients. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have uh, sensitive under eyes, then mm -hmm. even your face cream can be extended as a thin film on the under eye. Okay. Uh, but if you have sensitive uh, eyelid skin, mm -hmm. then one must uh, use products designed specifically for under eye area. Mm -hmm. And typically these are uh, under concentrations of the actives like mm -hmm. the retinol, the peptides are lower than uh, what are used on. Uh, the facial skin okay mm -hmm. so look for ingredients like retinol uh, niacinamide um, peptides mm 
विटामिन सी लो स्ट्रेंथ ग्लाइकोलिक एसिड ऑल ऑफ दीज आर प्रेजेंट इन आई क्रीम्स एंड दे एक्चुअली गिव क्वाइट गुड रिजल्ट्स इज देयर एनी अंडर आई क्रीम इन द मार्केट व्हिच हैज अ स्पेसिफिक इंग्रेडिएंट दैट्स नॉट रियली रेकमेंडेड फॉर अंडर आईज एट एट प्रेजेंट actually nowadays most of the products come with uh, you know uh, with research backed ingredients so mm. not really i wouldn't uh, i nothing that comes to my mind which is unsafe on the under eye area so okay. as long as you're buying it from a reputed brand or a, a company uh, yeah. they are generally safe to use what about uh, oil massages do they really help like like circling your eyes with oil massages do they would they really help for dark mm. circles no that actually wouldn't help Okay. uh the best thing you could do is uh apply a moisturizer gently on the under eye skin and just leave it there like okay. in fact when you apply products on the under eye they should be gently uh dabbed onto the skin like you can just dab it gently or just gent- give one gentle uh stroke yeah. from the inner to the outer part of the eyelid yeah. and in fact it's not recommended that you rub any products in because mm-hmm. that would actually uh, mm-hmm. irritate the yeah. uh, eyelid and cause worse in the darkness yeah in fact i have very commonly noticed that a lot of makeup artists in my industry they use um, you know makeup brushes or sponges very harshly in the under eye area while doing makeup to the artists and most um, men especially who are actors they they really don't think about it you know they just sit back lie back in their chairs and the makeup artist is like every single day especially if you're doing television you're working every single day so i see um, or i noticed that uh, you know makeup artists would subject these actors to very vigorous kind of makeup under the eye and eventually it you know loosens the skin gives you under eye bags and does more damage so personally if i want to do makeup under my eyes i would do it with my own finger and i would do it with pressure that's you know like good with me and not somebody have somebody else do it on me so i hope you guys uh, could take home some lessons and uh, again like i always say prevention is better than cure so stay healthy eat the right food drink a lot of water and sleep on time because that's one of the primary root causes uh, that gives dark circles thank you very much lots of love